Hello again, fellow gamers. Today, this is, um, we're going to play some more Clash Royale. This is Chaniel Dan, and I got a new strategy going for me. It is this deck. We got the Fireball, the Archers, the Minions, the ma the Mortar, the Barbarians, the Bomber, the Spear Goblins, and of course, the Hog Rider. It's a pretty cheap deck at 3.4 average elixir. And, um, yes, it's great for starting hordes and swarms and that kind of stuff. I got the fireball in there to take out um, minions, barbarians, you know, whatever comes in our way, and the mortar can get some free shots off onto the tower. And the other troops are just kind of for defending and for attacking. I'm going to jump into this replay here. Here. And it's going to show a epic push that I, I wasn't even planning but you know it just happened that way and I was like hey that's pretty cool so I just wanted to show you guys and I showed the my fellow clan mates as well we both throw the good luck and I dropped the hog rider just to test you know kind of test the water see what he has out there and I'm just gonna fireball a bunch I don't have the arrows in here because um I'm afraid of of troops like the three musketeers and and you know wizards and the ice wizard those kind of things I, I don't like those so I normally keep the fireball in there to take care of them that bomber's there is doing work but unfortunately gets killed by my by those spear goblins which get a few hits off of my tower and I drop a well played he drops a thanks and we're both just waiting waiting our elixir out I believe he's going to drop a giant in the back while well, I draw my archers and then I follow with my hog rider in front I believe there you go. along with the minions there um all those back troops in the back are going to go for the giant and I got the bomber in there to take out that hog rider and yeah we're just chilling we're about even here so I'm gonna drop my mortar again and we're gonna try to get as much damage as we can off onto that tower with the mortar. The mortar is kind of like the expo, but I find it's it's not as overpowered. So, like the expo, the expo has good health, good damage, too much damage in my opinion. But the mortar, the mortar is it's an even troop, you know? It's not a troop; it's a defense. But yeah, you get the idea. I got about uh. Maybe, um, maybe 400 health lead off of him. And we're both just kind of going at it. And that lone archer is going down the left lane and it's going to get shut down. I dropped the mortar and the mortar is going to go for that horde. I'm going to um, throw a bomber in there as well. Let's get some hits off the hordes. And uh, his hog rider is taking it down and... As you can see, I got a pretty good push going. I dropped my hog rider and his minions there. Maybe I should have fireballed them earlier, but anyways, now I do for some reason. And along that, that takes out the barbarians along with my bomber, and we take that tower because of the hog rider as the tank and the bomber as um, helping me take you know, those barbarians. That was an amazing push that I didn't even expect. Now we're just kind of defending, but it's kind of pointless because we're going to win anyways. This is like five more seconds left, and I'm just gonna fireball that, and we win. There we go. That was pretty good. I didn't even expect that, so I was pretty happy. Yep, that's just um, my new deck. I like switching it up, as I said before. Again, it's not fun to just use one deck, and um, either way, maybe people get used to the one deck, and they like switching it up as well to counter certain decks but you know that's just how i like to do it and i hope you enjoyed this video if you learned and enjoyed this video comment like and um subscribe if you haven't already did and i will see you in the next video Bye bye